All right, it's July 13th, 2022, the last day of Prime Day sales. And so I'm gonna do my quick roundup, 10-ish items uh, that I really thought stood out to me relating to everyday carry, watches, wallets, flashlights, pens, and so on. And maybe talk a little bit at the end about how I'd like to do this in future iterations of Prime Day. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. So the first item that really stood out just was added today. It was not on sale yesterday. I know because I looked through this entire brand and specifically at this wallet. And that is the Dango Dapper D03, both the light version as well as the normal bifold version of the wallet. And probably as you're seeing this or sometime today, I'm gonna to be releasing a first look at that wallet. And I was so impressed. Now I'm probably never gonna have a review of it because my dad loved it so much. He ended up uh, taking it off my hands, which is great. But I'm gonna be definitely checking out the light version because it's not something I've tried. And I highly recommend it at this price point. $31 or $32 for a wallet made in the United States, CNC'd aluminum. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, and the wallet itself, like the first wallet I already checked out was really, really impressive. No more or less than exactly what you needed and it's all RFID blocking. So I really, really like this wallet and I highly recommend taking the opportunity to get it now when it's only like $32. Highly recommended, link in the description. Now, a brief note before we continue, there is an entire group of items that I talked about last, last video, okay? It's over 200 items. I couldn't just talk about each one. So I went ahead and put it in a shopping list. It will be the very first link you see in the description. Just wanna get that out there. All right, let's now move on to the, probably what is the biggest deal, at least for me, as someone who loves multi-tools. And that is the Felisa, I don't know what you wanna call it. Um, it's a Wave clone and it's built by the same OEM that has made the Byberry 29 in one or whatever it is, and many, many others. So we know what the quality is like for this tool. We know where it comes from. It's rebranded, but inevitably it's the same thing. The big difference here is that unlike the Byberry, this one actually has replaceable cutters, something that is getting closer and closer to a real competitor with the Leatherman Wave, at least from a functional standpoint, not on quality. Just wanna be clear on this. But at $23 or $24, this is a ridiculous deal. Like, it's truly insane. And in my testing, the scissors outperform the Wave scissors. It has a full hex bit driver. It has, I, would, I, I think it's in a 420 AC equivalent. I'm not exactly sure of the steel, but in testing, it held up pretty well. Um, I don't know what will happen when they include a removable bit holder, if that will weaken the pliers enough to cause more breakage, but it kind of brings me to the next point here. That's inherent no matter what quality you have, whether it's a Leatherman or this tool. But the cool thing about these tools and many other items that you're going, you can purchase on Amazon is you can use a protection plan. And if you're ever wondering about what that is, basically what Amazon does is if something breaks, they don't look into why it broke. If you if you did something stupid like, you know, twist it and snap the plier heads, right? They don't care. You already paid for the protection plan. They're gonna send you either a new tool or they're gonna refund you the value that you paid for it initially. It's a win-win scenario, okay? So for the grand total of $28, you get four years of a warranty that is, well, ridiculously good. And I highly recommend doing that with this tool, especially at its price point. For under 30, you're getting a better warranty tool combination that you'll probably get from many of the major brands, maybe not Leatherman, but almost every other major brand will not replace a tool that you've abused. And this probably will get it replaced. Highly recommended. All right, moving on from multi-tools, we have the Parker Jotter is on sale in stainless steel. I kind of wish this had happened a little while ago when I was purchasing pens for a upcoming video, 
but these are now under the $10 price point, or just under $8. And that's great um, because they usually run like around 13. So definitely worth checking those out. Also, they're four pack where they have plastic bodies, but the same stainless steel top and the same writing capability. Uh, those are really, really, really cheap. So definitely check out both. I think that might not be a bad pen starter for a lot of people. All right, the Hodo 24 and one, what the hell is that? Okay, when we did the screwdriver video a few months ago, it was one of the items that really surprised me with just how good it was. It had double-sided four millimeter bits. They were really well formed with magnetic retention, no rattle. I mean, it was a great tool. And the moment, right after that video ended, it seemed like the price jumped up like $15, right? It went from 17 to like 26. Okay, my math is not good, $11. But now it has dropped back down to around 1650, which is a great deal compared to where it was. And this is where I think the price point is worth picking one up. So if you don't have one, this is a great backup screwdriver. It's great to throw in a bag in your pocket or whatever. It's much smaller than you might imagine. So I'll put a link to that video down in the description next to the link to the screwdriver itself. All right, so the next three items are from the exact same company. Funny enough, I have some sitting on the table right now. Um, this is Sofern flashlights, and I'm kind of jealous a little bit because these are cheaper than what I paid Sofern directly from China. And I had these shipped from China a couple, like a month ago, because I wanted to try more of them after seeing how good the others were. And uh, yeah, you can now get them cheaper than I could on Amazon Prime Day. So definitely check out the HS05, which is the AA 14500 variant, the HS10, which uses the CR123 sized battery, and also the HS40, which is the one that uses the 18650. So check out all of those. And they have other flashlights as well. All of the other flashlights that they have will be in the main shopping list, which is the first link. All right, next we have a flashlight that was a major surprise when I reviewed it, and that was the Ace Beam Rider RX. So it has dropped substantially in price. The titanium version that I purchased went from 47 with the coupon to 43 with a coupon. And so it's about $40 for a titanium flashlight with everything that I said in that video, which includes a 14500 with USB Type-C recharging and all the output and benefits and the fidget factor, the whole thing. So definitely check that out because the aluminum version also is really cheap. I think 34 and then it also has a 5% coupon code. It's, it's a very good value and it's a great flashlight. If you don't have one, it's a unique piece because it has a bolt action fidget. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Just go watch the video. I will put a link to that as well. All right, the last flashlight on this list is the Olight i3T. Not surprising, um, it's on sale. And usually I don't recommend Olights on Amazon because you're better off getting Olights directly from Olight on their summer day sale or whatever it happens to be. But it seems like they're like either matching the price or getting damn close because they're selling the stainless steel variant and the normal aluminum version quite a bit cheaper. In fact, the aluminum version is only $14, which is a great value for a flashlight I have already shown can use a 10440, which is a lithium battery that allows it to reach almost 500 lumens max output from a triple A sized flashlight. That's just crazy sauce. And so definitely worth picking one up. If you're just looking for a simple user interface with a really nice haptic, you know, button that really requires a lot of force to actually lock in. So it's, it's a great little flashlight even with a standard AAA. And that's a very common size, it's IPX8. It's a great little flashlight. So definitely something to check out for sure. All right, now onto something completely different. And now this company, I have been trying their products for actually a few months of their socks and now also their belt. And that's kind of what I want to talk about this, this time around. Um, the Grip6 belt is seen a lot. You've seen probably advertisements of this thing. So I was a little skeptical, you know, sometimes when things are over advertised, they're not really what they, you know, say they are. What I, what I will say just about the belt, at least, 
is the things they said about comfort is true. Um, it is insanely comfortable. In fact, it's so comfortable, I prefer it over my Wazoo cash belt. And I, that was the only belt I was wearing for the most part. So it's, it's a phenomenal belt. I cannot say enough. And they have so many different variations, colors, you know, the actual belt itself or the, or the plate. And uh, you should check one out. If you, if you haven't tried a belt like this, this is a great belt. And it, for some reason, it doesn't ever come undone. It's really well, well designed in that way. So it's something to check out. And just this company in general, I think they're doing some great stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing more products from these guys. All right, you ready for the last thing? The last thing is, in my opinion, one of the most important things that is on sale for Prime Day 2022. The complete DVD or Blu-ray of the MacGyver seasons. Oh yeah. No, I mean, I put that in kind of silliness. I just thought it was funny and one person caught it. So that person, by the way, is getting a prize for finding that little Easter egg. But seriously, if you haven't seen MacGyver, it's such an entertaining show. You really should watch it. Just, you know, you gotta get over the fact that everyone has a mullet in that show. Anyway, moving on. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate your time. And we're gonna do this a little bit differently, I think, next Prime Day. As soon as I can figure out when those go live, we may have a live stream and kind of work on it together and have a little fun and then release the video in a more detail uh, that same day. So we're gonna try to like basically just work hard until we get the video out and then probably just crash and take a nap. But uh, I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. I don't know when the next Prime Day is, but I was surprised to find decent sales here and I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if this is something you'd like me to do for say Christmas sales and Black Friday, we can probably do that as well. So thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. And we'll talk again soon.